A Roman legionary is not only expected to march 20 miles a day, carrying his kit, he also has to build the roads he walks on. In this age, the single greatest instrument of state control is a strip of land between 12 and 30 foot wide. The greatest engineering feat of the Romans was not the Colosseum. It was not the Pantheon. It was not the aqueducts. It was their road system. When they first arrived, there were only mud tracks. But over time, the Romans built 10,000 miles of road. The primary function of the roads is military. And long after the troops have gone home, this remains as a statement. This territory is ours, and we can be here at a moment's notice at speed and crush you. Now the legions own the landscape, they begin slowly to transform it. As they establish themselves as a permanent force of occupation, their wooden marching camps are replaced by stone fortresses. What we can see in front of us here is a centurial barrack block. This is one of the only ones that's on display in northwestern Europe today. And 2,000 years ago, it was the home to a century of Roman legionaries. So there were 80 men based in this barrack block here, and there would have been another 50 or so just like it dotted around the legionary fortress. The normal legionaries that lived in groups of eight men, we think, in these suites of rooms. Um, they would have had their um, sleeping quarters in the back room, and then their equipment would have been stored in the front room, which is possibly where they also cooked and prepared their food. Here, each block has 12 pairs of rooms and quarters for the officer, fronted with a veranda. There's one building for each centurion and his 80 men. Further excavation has shown that the 2nd Augusta made every part of their fort with their own hands. The bricks and the roofing tiles would have been made quite close to the fortress, although we don't know the exact spot of the kilns that's still to be discovered. The tiles and bricks are stamped uh, with leg uh, to out, which is Legio Secunda Augustus, the Second Augustan Legion. In time, the programme of construction will expand to create new towns all over the province. There will be bathhouses, temples, little pieces of Rome in Britain. But for now, a delicate balance must be kept. 40,000 troops still have to hold 50,000 square miles. The sheer success of the Roman army is that it didn't have to be big, it didn't have to be everywhere all the time to keep the empire working. But it needed to present this image, this facade of overwhelming strength. It's taken decades for the legion to recover from the shame of the Teutoburg forest. If they ever become vulnerable again, they will once more face rebellion.